Another really quick video about Virtual D Day 2026 because there's a brand new early access release out today and it's called Build 8950 here. So uh, that comes with a, a new feature that we was actually asking for just a couple of days ago that uh, has to do with the lyrics and the censoring. So let's look into that now that it has arrived. So it's pretty interesting here. So it's still an early access release with this build number. So uh, uh, like I said uh, in the last video, uh, when you load a track, you of course have this entire new feature that uh, analysts and brings in the lyrics, right? That was one of the, the main features. Uh, and you play the track and uh, it will move it up here, but it will also be able to add it to one of the new visualizations down here, like for instance, karaoke. So like this. Yes, it's true. So that's how you saw it yesterday. So it analyzes it, it stores it actually, and it can add it to the screen and it can also put it up here. So that's pretty cool. And we also saw last time that it actually has a censoring function. So if we put in lyrics here, uh, it has a censoring so it can censor some of the words based on its uh, analysis of the lyrics. So let's try doing, this is not a, a, a particularly uh, Harsh language song, so just pick some words. So I'm gonna put in, uh, for instance, we had uh, heart, and we had, so let's put in that. And we had love, so heart love. Let's go with that. So uh, just keep it here. And uh, so now it's still saying uh, heart, it doesn't censor it. But if I just go to another place in the track, and go back, so it has a chance to chance to refresh. Now you can see it actually senses the word heart. Um, so that works, and it also works when you play it. Yes, it's true, I'm hard for you, but I won't rush this love. So that's nice, and that's how it also worked in the first early access release. So what's the new feature then? Well, the new feature is that you can actually also have it do it uh, to the actual audio, so it actually makes a, a clean version on the fly, if you will. So I'll put that in, and what happens now is that when I play the track again, it also removes the audio for these detected words. Yes, it's true, I'm for you, but I won't rush this. I can wait even if it's to one moment. So like that, it simply also uh, uses the uh, the stems and remove the vocal stem for these words. Now, that is pretty cool. That's cleaning on the fly. Uh, well, of course, you probably shouldn't trust it all the way. There might be a word that it misses somewhere, that it detects it wrong or for whatever reason, stuff like that. So you should, of course, pre-listen to this stuff before playing it in front of people if you want clean edits. And if you then uh, won't clean it and it has misinterpreted something, you can actually just change that in the editor, uh, the lyrics editor, which is a right click function over here, for instance. So we have a lyrics editor, that's also new, and that was also in the initial release. And then we can go in here and fix these mistakes that it might have made, so you can get these words uh, that you're then censoring. So that was just a, a, a short video on, uh, on the brand new early access release here that now also has this new little setting called lyrics sensor also audio.